Hey guys, so I have some finished cards and diamond paintings to share with you. Here is the first card I did. It's pretty basic, but it's for kids, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, it's a card base I got from the thrift store, and um, I used a brick stencil that I got from... Timu and I mixed uh, snow text and texture paste and paint together to get this um, r really dark red brick color and because of the snow text it actually has a brick texture on it so that was pretty cool and um, all these cardstock stickers came from this Echo Park um, superhero cardstock sticker sheet. I bought this from Scrapbooking for Less years ago. Um, the Happy Birthday is from this Inka Dinka Do stamp. And um, the inside I just put more of that um, modeled paper because I didn't feel like cutting up a piece of computer paper for it. Normally I don't put cardstock on the inside, but just feeling lazy and I wanted to get it done. So I did outline the... Um, happy birthday with a scrap of black so that it had a very thin border but yeah this is for kiddo so I highly doubt he's going to give two shits about the card so I'm not going to put much effort into it um and then um I need to stop saying um so much so my mom had brought in a partial box of Kleenex. For what reason, I do not know. Um, I don't typically use Kleenex anymore. I'd rather use paper towel. And uh, so I got, when I was finished with the Kleenex, instead of uh, putting the box away, I decided just to get, get it used up so that I didn't have to worry about keeping that box as well. Um, this background mat is from Rebecca, and then I had punched out um, the smaller pieces of the Kleenex box with, maybe I put it away, with uh, a Fiskars uh, hexagon punch. I think that this is the two inch. I really want the one inch. The one inch would make me very happy, but... For right now, I have the two inch. And, um, just said um again. And then I punched out a piece of really thin chipboard that I had in my scrap, my little scrap turkey basket. Stamped out thank you, which came from this stamp set. I think this was a part of like a, um, either a die or an embossing folder set. I punched it out with the two inch and then I had already glued uh, these hexagons on the back and I didn't want to pe try and peel one off. And so I just cut, like I eyeballed with my scissors, um, like a sixteenth of an inch off each side of the hexagon and it may not be perfect, but it I don't think anybody's going to notice that it's not perfect. Um, and then I've got a bow that I made out of some scrap jute that I had. And uh, there it is. All the blings on these cards are from Ronnie. From this little bling wheel that she gave me. Uh, the inside, I have a little scrap of paper from Cheryl. And here is the next one. Uh, I had some strips of the Kleenex box, and I so I just made like a, a slightly spread apart card front from them. Uh, the Thank you. This was a die cut I had in my stash, and then the actual stamp came from uh, 
I got it's gonna be hard to see. I got this from the thrift store. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it's uh, photopolymer. <clears throat> so and there's blings on here, and um, I just made it look like the jute was wrapped all the way around. This background mat. This was from the DCWV stack called the Lodge Stack, and I know there's two different Lodge Stacks that they put out. Uh, but yeah, that's a scrap from that. And then I've just got a little smaller scrap there. And here is the next one. So this is like a, one of the side panels from the um, <clears throat> Kleenex box. The map paper behind here, it came from this sheet. And I couldn't find a name written on it, but I really feel like I got this from Felicia. I could be wrong, but I kind of feel like I did. So the colors don't exactly match, but I didn't have any scraps in my scrap box that uh, would fit a slimline card. And I did not want to cut into it. 12 by 12 sheet and this wasn't in my scrap box not that you need to know this because it was too big it was almost a full 12 by 12 but it had all these punch outs in it and so it didn't go with my full 12 by 12 scrapbook paper um the there is a wood slice here um i don't have any writing on it so it probably came from at uh, eBay or Alley, and I just ink the edges up with brown. And then the shrooms, um, is a Timu dye called Layered Mushrooms, or at least that's the name I gave it. My desk is a mess. Um, the congratulations is, I think it's from that. Yeah, it's from the same stamp set. And that purple paper, I don't think belonged to anybody. I had a leftover almost whole hexagon, so I just made a flag for the inside. And then this card, I made a boo-boo. Um, it's half an inch too long to fit in a slimline envelope, so um, I am just going to send it out with one of my thank you packages with the dyed paper that I did for uh, someone one of my thank you packages for joining my challenge and so it won't fit in an envelope but I'll just slide it in with the big manila that the paper is going in uh, this mat that is from D Stash. this tag that the thank you is stamped on is from Tina and uh, this is from Cheryl, this gold embossed compassy looking piece. We've got more mushrooms. I think Jenny, there's a little purple mushroom here, the topper, that came from Jenny. And I've got a little twine bow there. And yeah, and there's, I put the purple blings on the lavender plants, you know, just just have a sparkle of color. Um, and then the inside. So there are all my cards, and then I've got two finished diamond paintings. I'm working on another one right now. Well, as you know, I'm already halfway done with it, which is probably not impressive. I've been working on it for a few days, but I've been trying super super hard to give myself breaks so that I'm not in pain but 
um, the way my mind has been working, which it doesn't work this way while making cards, unfortunately, once I start, I can't stop. Like, I feel like, um, it's putting a project off to the side and I don't like doing that. You know, I need to finish what I've started. And so, yeah, but I'm trying, I'm trying to give myself breaks, I'm trying to learn to give myself breaks. Here is the first one that I got done. Is it mostly in view? I think it is. What if I went up and then... I feel like it's mostly in view. Um, I bought this one when I was first buying diamond paintings and I didn't know any better. Um, this one came from Timu. I think it turned out pretty. It's like a uh, de, de los Muertos girl with the black cat. Um, it's got three skulls in the background. There's one here, one there, and a little baby one up there. Um, what I did not realize when I bought this is in the when it comes to flowers, you really need to go big or go home. And there's a lot of flowers. This just looks like a vomiting of color here. This you can kind of tell it's a flower. These two are flowers, but it's still not great. You know, this just looks, it just looks like a mess. And uh, I don't like the, I wish, see, I did this when, you know, I didn't know which it'd still be hard for me to change up a pattern once it's on there. You know, in my mind, it'd be hard for me to do. But I wish I had not done this confetti of color here and just done uh, this peachy color is on her forehead. Because I like, I think this confetti of color does not look great. Um, what I recommend, you know, it's not bad for a 30 by 30 canvas or 25 by 25. Uh, it's not bad. I don't hate it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. My plan is, you know, the diamond paintings that I love that I really want for myself, I'll keep. And then the ones that I don't love all, um, or that I don't feel the need to keep I'll frame or just give away as is if someone on here wanted them or a family or friend wanted them, you know, then I'd just send it to them. There's the number if you need it. So, yeah, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's not the best, but I don't hate it. And I appreciate that you can definitely tell that she's a girl. And I don't know what's going on with the cat's nose here, but you can tell it's a cat. This down here is too dark. Like, I can tell just by the guideline of her upper arm where this black sleeve is, but it blends in way too much with the back of her dress. You know, it, maybe it'd be better if, or, yeah, maybe it would be better if it was bigger. It probably would. It probably would. Here is the second one that I did. This was a gift from Bonnie, and I hated doing it. Um, I'm not sure what the brand is, but the top looks like that. So if you see that, you may want to steer clear. So I would say about a quarter. Not only was this, were these drills exceptionally staticky, much more staticky than the kit I just kitted up, but these were exceptionally staticky. And then I would say a quarter of the drills were stuck together back to back. And so I was just sitting there as I was diamond painting with my other hand, picking up the ones that were clustered together and trying to, to rub them apart. And half the time I was able to get them separated, half the time I wasn't. I just had to check them. And I didn't feel like I could just automatically chuck the ones that were stuck together because uh, I didn't know, you know, how much I'd have at the end left over. Um, and then 
I would say about half the drills were concave. So they were cup shaped. They weren't flat on the back. So that posed a problem. Uh, especially because also the canvas itself had very little stick. The glue on my pen was stickier than the glue on the canvas. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not, it wasn't fun. It wasn't, I still did it because I had to because I started it. That's how my brain works. But, um, it wasn't fun. And I definitely, I'm, I plan on sealing all of them. Um, my bottles, this, this has lasted a pretty good amount of time, uh, two ounces. Uh, I've sealed that 30, 30 by 40 starry night and then the, uh, these two 30 by 30 canvases. So there's still a little bit more. I may have enough to seal another 30 by 30 or at least a 20 by 20. So anyways, that's what I got done. Um, I don't plan on keeping the Starry Night. I don't think I'm going to keep the uh, Dia, Dia de los Muertos girl. Um, and I definitely don't plan on keeping these, or this uh, flower Mandela one. So if anybody's interested in those three, I can send it to you. If not, I'll just... I'll eventually find a frame for them at a thrift store and sell them for 10 bucks at a craft fair. That's my plan. So, and now I'm having a craft lunch. Anyways, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Adios.